Hey, Kevin and Whitney, how's it going? Connor here with Wilson Motor. Just want to put a face to the name so you know who you've been talking to about this beautiful Bronco here behind me for the past couple of days. Let's do a little walk around video, flip it around, and we'll show you how it looks. So, this is a 2024 Ford Bronco Outer Banks. Um, it's inside the shop here, so I don't have it turned on or in the store, I guess. We'll kind of go, go over some of the features that it's got. Um, as you can tell, right up front here, you've got these really bright LED lights. So everyone's gonna love you who's in front of you as you blind them. You're also gonna have the fog lights down here on the bumper and you've got four parking sensors down here on the front too. And of course, you've got Bronco across the front of the grill there. Um, come over to the sides. The Outer Banks here comes with really good Bridgestone tires. They're more of a, I mean, they're an all-terrain tire obviously, but they're gonna be more kind of like for roading. Not, they're not super aggressively off-roading tires, but yeah, the really cool Bronco aluminum alloy wheels as well, which have a little bit of black paint on them too. Um, one thing I do like about the Broncos, I'm pretty sure most Broncos have this feature, but you're gonna have the 360 degree view camera. So you got the two cameras under both mirrors, one in the front and one in the back. So that way when you are off-roading, you can be able to see if you're gonna hit rocks. One of the things that's actually really cool that I just noticed recently too, is if you compare the, the Broncos to like a Jeep Wrangler, for example, if you take the doors off on the Bronco, you're still gonna have your mirrors because they're attached up here to the front of the doors. You can see that there's a line right there. So you'll still have the, the mirrors when you take the doors off. Whereas if you take the doors off on a Jeep, your mirrors are going with it. Being brand new, there's obviously no body damage or scratches or anything like that. Back on the back, you're gonna have four more parking sensors on that bumper right here. You got your full size spare tire. You know, the storage back here comes with your floor mats to put in there once you purchase it. Obviously, we have the soft top, soft top on this one. And the gas is going to be here on the left side of the vehicle. Just pop it open just like that. You got the easy feel where you pop it in with no cap. And then here in the back seat. So the Outer Banks comes with like this brown interior, which I think is kind of cool. You have the black and brown dual interior colors. If you don't have anybody here in the middle seat, you can pop this guy down and have two cup holders and a little armrest as well. You're gonna have the window controls down here next to your chargers. It's kind of dark, sorry. Pop it open, there we go. So you're gonna have a USB, a USB-C, and you're gonna have a 12 volt charger right here, which you can't really see in the video. And then your two windows are up here and they're both automatic as well. And then you can also pop these headrests down with this button. And then this little guy will pull your whole seat down forward. And it comes down almost flat. It doesn't go flat with this because there's this little lip right here on the back. So it's not going to be completely flat because of that. But this comes down pretty close to all the way flat. And then both drivers and passenger seats are going to have little pockets to put a couple things in. Not a whole lot. And you got this little mesh net on the door there. Up here in the front, we'll kind of go over some of these features. First thing is, I really like the welcome videos. You got the nighttime one there on the left, you got the Bronco on the right. We'll just kind of go into accessory mode here. So, first off, as you're going to see over here, I opened the door, I opened the door. I saw it just really, it worked out. Maybe it's not going to work anymore. Um, but you've got the blind spot monitors right there in the top left corner of the mirror. And so it's going to turn like a bright orange once someone is in that blind spot for you guys. Then we've got all of our headlight controls. If you have the vehicle turned off, I think you can do these for your mirrors, the lights on the mirrors. You're going to have your fog lights. You're going to have all your light controls and then the display, the brightness of this cluster right here to make it so it's a little bit darker. Then you're going to have your parking brake right down here. Um, if we go, we're in full accessory mode. Yes, I know that. Thank you. So we have our RPMs over here on the left, and then you're or, sorry, you're gonna have your miles per hour. Um, the RPMs are actually been be done digitally there. So you have the RPMs and your speed here as well. Then you're gonna have your tire pressures, and you can have a whole lot of different information up here on this screen. So we can change to a whole bunch of stuff. Right now, it shows where our fuel levels over here. You've got eight miles on the vehicle. There's not really a check engine light, but that's where it would be if you did have one. And then you have which gear we're in down here. On the left side of the vehicle, you're gonna have your wipers and brights and blinkers. 
Here we have our cruise control, lane assist, as well as adaptive cruise control and volume buttons. These are gonna be your other media buttons, your phone and AI assistant, and this is gonna help you be controlling that screen right up there on the front so you can see all the different information you want about the vehicle. If we come over here, we have a big touch screen, as you can see. You have your navigation on the right. You got the whole Ford system, which is really easy to, to use. The other thing I like about this is this will have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, um, but it'll swap your phone into here and have your Apple Maps here instead of the Ford Maps. But because it is equipped with Ford navigation right now with no phone connected, it is the Ford navigation. So it kind of looks like Apple CarPlay, but in Ford, the Ford way. You're gonna have an additional little charger up here. You got a USB and a USB-C. You've got a little bit of place to store your phone right here if you want to, but I don't know how this is going to like, be very steady stored right there. You've got your rear locking differential, your off-road or your uh, traction control and your hazard lights here. You're going to have some more buttons for your climate controls down here with heated seats for both the driver and passenger, a heated steering wheel. Up here, you've got your parking sensors. If you don't like the beeping, you can turn that off. You can change it and look at the camera here. So this is going to show you that 360 degree view. Right now we're looking in the front because we pushed that button. If we were to throw it in reverse, it's going to show us the reverse side with the lines and where it's going to be beeping at you. And this will turn off the auto start stop feature right there if you don't like the engine turning off and more just the media buttons here so you don't have to do all everything touching on the screen there. Here's how you're going to put it into four wheel drive. You can manually put it into four wheel drive by pushing one of these buttons. You've got a trail assist here and you also have the goat modes. So if you look up here as we turn those goat modes, it's going to show you you've got normal eco and sport slippery mud ruts and sand so these three right here on the right side are going to be your four-wheel drive ones over here your sport eco and normal are going to be more like your two-wheel drive ones um, and that's all controlled by turning this right here and it will manually put the vehicle into where it needs to be with four low four high or in the two high exactly like that down here we got a little more charging. We've got a wireless phone charger right here, which you can't see because it's a little dark. We've got another USB and USB-C right here. So we've got three total USB outlets in here inside the vehicle. Here's where your window controls are going to be with the window locks. Your mirror controls right here to be able to change where the mirror looks like. A little bit charge or a little bit of space in there to store stuff, and a 12 volt charger right there on the back side. And then you've got the glove box over here with our Bronco stuff. One of the things that's kind of really cool about the Bronco too is there are handles all over the place. You've got handles on the back right, handle here on the back left, and you've got the handle right there for the passenger and a handle right here for the passenger and a handle over here for the driver. So as you're driving, you wanna make sure you're holding on to something so you're not going all over the place. That's the way to do it. Um, last couple things here is you've got a place for garage doors. So you can have a, you don't have to have a separate fob up here. You can use this to connect to your garage. You got a place for sunglasses and lights for inside the vehicle. And that right there would be the Bronco. Hopefully this is something that you guys want to look into the lease or the purchase option. Um, let me know if there's any additional questions about the vehicle and what we can do to get you guys down here to come take a look at it. Thanks and have a great day.